Paul is concerned about the body. He's concerned about growth. That's why he says in the next few verses, then we will no longer be infants. Paul always had the problem of sometimes people not coming to maturity as they should be. That was a major concern of the first century. You find it in the book of Hebrews chapter 5. You'll find it in 1 Corinthians chapter 14. That many of the problems that the church had to face came from those that had not grown up. Those who had not matured. I'm sure the elders could talk to you about some of the people that they have problems with. They might have been around a long time, but they haven't matured. They haven't grown. They haven't become what they need to be. Check out the new series, Hymns of Hope, on Praise and Harmony TV today. In this six-part series, Jeff Walling takes us on a journey through studying the Psalms and how they integrate with our modern worship. Not about the songs that were written maybe in the last hundred years or even in the last thousand years. No, we're going to reach back more than 2,000 years to Israel's hymnal, their hymnal of hope. Enjoy timeless stories about how we got some of our most beloved songs. When finally the telegram came through, and it's a famous one, it just had two words on it. The words came from Horatio Spafford's wife, and the two words were, saved, alone. And sing along with the praise and harmony singers. Check out Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today.